got a bit of an early start here in New York today. I'm right next to the Grand Central Terminal, which is also pretty much right next to the Chrysler Building. I'm kind of waiting on one of my internet friends to get here, and she'll leave fairly early, but that's okay. So, see what happens. So she's a little bit camera shy, so I've agreed not to let her, you know, put her in these things. The company is still nice. We're uh, going to Central Park now. Well, all oh, that was kind of awkward. Uh, uh, for future reference, if you want to meet me, you that may possibly involve being in my video. <laughs> so it's a. Uh, yeah, she's really nice. It was just uh, couldn't get any footage. But I'm not angry. But if you do want to see me, you're probably going to have to be in the video. I'm here at the Museum of Modern Art, and I'm really only here to see one thing. Van Gogh's Starry Night. I'm like a little kid at Disney World, and then they have a Picasso thing over here, and I'm not as excited for that. Picasso was okay for me. To, anybody could do that kind of stuff. They can't. Contemporary art is a dark, scary place. And then there's this kind of stuff, and it really doesn't worry me because modern art's more like throw it against the wall and see what sticks. But I just don't think it's gonna this kind of thing's gonna last very long. That was really cool. And uh I think some of it's funny. I don't think some of it's good. I don't know why it's up there, but that's one of the cool things about art is you don't have to agree with me. I mean, if you can inspire people and make something merits a response, and you know, I guess it's art. I mean, even modern art, you look at it and you go, ugh. That's still, I mean, it's still a response, I guess. It's definitely worth seeing. Top of the Empire State Building. Well, the 86th floor. It's probably one of the coolest views I've ever seen. We didn't know what we I did not get any good video of Central Park, which is not Forest Park, yeah. but I'm determined I'm going to go there for the third time tomorrow and do some bike riding so you guys can see all of it. Because it's really, it's really not that big. New Yorkers think it's big. It's not. Which isn't that big. Well, here in New York City, it's huge. Anyway, we bought tickets to see Finding Neverland, so we're going to go pick those up.
That was really, really good. He was, he's really good at that. And the show has Matthew Morrison, who apparently was the teacher from Glee. So that's kind of exciting. All right, so I just finished watching Finding Neverland, and I'm here with Jonathan Ritter. He played Whoa. Albert the butler, and he's giving me a tour of the backstage, which is really cool, giving me details on yep, that. Yeah, some more cast. The show, the cast, and it's my costume. everything it's my they have in here. It's a, here. it's a really confined space. There's a huge for the amount of space that they have in here. Croc hands. Crocodile oh, hands. <laughs> but this was by far one of my favorite plays I've seen in a really long time. Is uh, if you're coming to New York anytime soon, you definitely check it Come out. Come see it. Come see it. All right, it's Jonathan Hello. Ritter again. He's going to answer a couple of questions. Is uh. The first one, probably the most asked, is how long does it take to, uh, how long did you guys work on this? We, uh, we rehearsed for about two months, uh, learning the show. We actually had like a three week lab that we did, uh, choreography for three weeks before we even started with the rest of the cast, just to get a heads up. So we did a month of previews, which is basically doing the show for an audience and testing it out, but during that time you can change anything. Mm -hmm. And so during that month we rewrote the entire opening number, we cut songs, we added choreography. It was like every day the show is completely different. And then once you open, it's like the show's frozen. It's the version you're gonna do. What do you do to prepare for a show? It depends on the show. I definitely have to get your like at least an hour before the show starts and warm up. Um, so I do a physical warm up, I have to warm up my voice, 20 minutes of just like push ups, lunges, ab stuff, just to get like my whole body warm. Because we kind of get shot out of a cannon, the opening numbers. Without giving anything away, which, what do you think uh, your favorite scene is in this play? Uh, my favorite scene, yeah, I would say my favorite scene is, is the nursery scene at the end. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Cool. I won't give it away, but you have to come see it. Yeah. <laughs> That's Jonathan Ritter. He's kind enough to let me ask him some questions and record in the back here. Yep. So, uh, yeah, just come see the show. Just come, come see, see the, the show. show. Yeah.